Hi everybody, this is Amy Rich with amyrich.net. I am going to share with you a project today made with the October 2021 Paper Pumpkin Kit called Peaceful Christmas. And it is made to coordinate with the Peaceful Place Suite in the July to December 2021 mini catalog. That's a mouthful. And what I've done is created this over the top wow card that I think you're gonna love, but hold on to your hats because it's got a lot of detail and it's got a lot of pieces to cut and I hope you come along for the ride because it is it is that awesome. So even if you're not a Paper Pumpkin subscriber though, I would like to um, just tell you, come on and watch because there are plenty of other products that you can use to create a fun card like this. And not only does this project serve as the alternate Paper Pumpkin project that I made for this month, but it doubles as the fourth in the 12 projects of Christmas 2021. So I hope you enjoy it. Come along. Like I said, hang on, let's do this. Such a pretty box with pretty things inside. And so I thought the first thing we should probably do is go over what you need from the kit in order to complete our project today. You will need one of the Shaded Spruce card bases, one of the Snowflake and Trees card bases as well, and then one of the plaid pieces along with the plaid circle, and then a wood grain strip of gray uh, paper, and the vellum trees, the Noel, and one of the tags, as well as the stamp set and the ink pad from the kit. The first thing we're gonna do is just get the stamping out of the way. So go ahead and take your uh, label, and then we'll grab the Merry Christmas. and ink that up and stamp it on our label. It should fit perfectly in there. And now let's bring in our trimmer because we will be cutting lots of pieces off of these pieces from the kit. So we're gonna start with this one right here, the green card base. And we're going to turn it so that the short edge is um, at, the, at the top of our trimmer and putting the left edge in at four inches we're going to cut that right off and I think we're going to use this again so hold on to that and then we're going to turn it the other way and we're going to score at two inches and of course if you had this simply scored that would work well too four inches, six inches, and then we'll have to open up the ruler to do the eight inches. And then, so we have two, four, six, eight, and then a half inch section on the end. Then we're gonna turn it back the other way and cut it in half at two inches. And I did it that way so that all I would have to do is score um, one piece and then um, not have to do both. So these are ready to go. I'm gonna set those aside. And then we're gonna take this strip that we have left and we're gonna cut that at three quarters of an inch. And I'm gonna use this right side um, to the right of my cutting groove on my trimmer. Cut that at three quarters of an inch. Then we're gonna turn it And we're going to score it at a half an inch. Again, I'm going to use it on the right-hand side here. And then turn it again. <laughs> and we're going to go at one and a half and score again. And then at two, three. And then we're going to cut it at three and a half and set that piece aside. The rest, whatever's left, is just a scrap. 
Then I'm going to take my plaid piece and cut two one and five eighths, five eighth inch strips. So I am going to cut one and five eighths and then one and five eighths again. And I want four one and five eighths inch squares out of that. So one and five eighths one and five eighths, and you can get one more out of it. So three of them will come from one strip. And then one more. One and five eighths. All right, so we've got all those pieces ready. I'm keeping a pile of all of the pieces that we're gonna use on our project today. Next up, we're gonna take this beautiful piece right here, and we are going to cut one and five eighths inch off of that left-hand edge. And then one and five eighths inch again. We will need this again, so don't put it too far away. Then we're gonna turn them both this direction and cut off a half inch from the bottom. And that is just to get it prepared for, um, for the height that we need here. And I wanted the trees to fill in the space. So I wanted to cut off that bottom edge so that we wouldn't have um, cut off our trees. So now we're going to um, make sure the trees are at the bottom and turn it, turn that bottom part to the left. And we're going to cut at three and five eighths. So the tree is at the bottom and then we turn it so the tree is on the left. And then three and five eighths. Okay, so these are the pieces we're going to use. Okay, so what we want are these two pieces here. <laughs> then we're going to take those and just fold them in half so that the gray is on the inside and the white is on the outside. So we will need both of those. So put those in your pile with all the pieces that we are gathering for this project. Then we will take um, this piece and we're going to cut one and seven eighths inch off the top of it. So we're gonna take the top of the tree off at one and seven eighths. And then we're going to get two one and seven eighths inch squares. So I'm gonna cut at one and seven eighths. And again, at one and seven eighths. And we'll get a little part of that tree too. So we need these two squares, put those in your pile. And I think that is it for this piece. So anything remaining is something that you can use on another project. Next, we're gonna bring in a piece of shaded spruce cardstock that is cut four by eight and a half. And then we're gonna put the long side against the top of our tray and score it at two, four, six, and eight, just like those um, first couple of strips that we created. So two, four, six, and then again, we gotta open that up to catch eight. And this time we're not gonna cut it all the way in half, but we are gonna turn it, put it in at two inches. And you can see the, the skinny pieces here. And then we've got the different score lines. We're gonna cut from this score line out at, at two inches. So put the paper in at two inches. And then I'm going to put my blade um, at that score line and cut out. Okay, and then I am also going to put the blade at this bottom score line and do the same thing. So here we've got a couple of flaps on each end and we're going to trim those out. So I'm gonna take my snips and just trim on the score line to cut those pieces out. And then I think we are done with our trimmer. 
And then I'm just going to trim off. We're going to need these pieces too later. So I'm going to trim off that score line on that side too so that we've just got our two nice shaded spruce squares. So put that on your pile. I told you it's a lot, but we're going to get through it. All right, so let's go ahead and fold on all of the score lines. And they're all going to fold in the same direction. Okay. So then we've got this tab here. Oh, before we do that, leave it open. We're going to bring in two pieces of basic white cardstock that are cut one and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then we're going to bring back these two pieces that we cut earlier. So we're going to take those off of our use pile and adhere those with a nice snowy white border around it. So we'll do that to both of them. And then these pieces will go into the panel on, on this piece right here. When I created this card, I did it by putting a few different things together that I saw on Pinterest. So I did, I did scour for some ideas and then I just kind of um, combined some ideas to create what we're doing today. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. Okay, so we've got those pieces now. Let's go ahead and glue this together. So we'll put adhesive on that tab and then bring this around and adhere it together. And just hold it down for a second and make sure it's gonna stay. Then we're gonna bring in that strip that has the half inch and the half inch and then the half inch in the middle. Go ahead and fold on all those lines as well. And we are going to just put adhesive in that center half inch section, just like this. And then we're going to adhere our circle. Make sure that's glued so that you have these edges that come up here like this. All right. Then we're going to put glue across the center, making sure not to go off on these tabs on the side. And we'll adhere our wood grain to that. Get it as centered as possible, but it's not crucial or anything. Then we'll come in with our Noel and that will be that will be next. Just be careful. Um, the the top of the L and the and the little squirt out here on the end will be um, hanging off the edge. So you may not want to add adhesive to those sections. And then we'll just um, adhere that to the center. It's so pretty. I love all of the pieces in this kit. So then let's fold this back. And now we're going to put adhesive on these two tabs. And what I love, we are talking in our paper pumpkin party. Now we'll fold those back and adhere the, this to the center so you can push your little box flat here and make sure that sticks. The circle goes almost all the way up to the top of the card. We were talking in our paper pumpkin party about how it'll be nice to be able to stop the video <laughs> once it got up on YouTube. So. So here is our little pop-out Noel so far. Isn't that pretty? I love it. It makes me happy. Now we're going to grab our vellum trees. And once we have that popped up, we've got the biggest tree here on the left. It's the second one from the left. Now we're going to trim out the one next to it like that. And then we're going to put adhesive on the shortest tree will indicate how far up to go. So we'll put adhesive here and kind of all the way across and then down below that. And then we're going to bring in our box and adhere it to the inside front section. 
and just get our fingers in there and make sure it adheres into there. And then we're going to take the other two trees, making sure if you need to trim, you know, if it looks funny and you need to, to trim it out a little bit differently, you certainly can. Um, I see some notches here, although I think that'll be hidden. I don't know. We'll see. And then the same thing. So take the shortest tree first, and that's how far up to go on the longer tree. And then that will go on the other side here. Those will go right in there. We're creating our little scape, our, our uh, landscape. Now it's time to bring in the other pieces. So we will take um, these longer strips of our shaded spruce card that we cut and we're going to fold those now there is a double score line here because of the card so go ahead and <clears throat> see which is um which creates squares here so there will be one score line hanging that is a that's an extra line there and that's okay it won't matter and then we'll adhere this to um, the tab to make a little cube. And we'll do the same thing to the other side. Now, if you do adhere it together and it's wonky, like it's not, it's not an exact cube, then probably what the case is is you fold it on the wrong score line <laughs> and it's okay if you open it up and refold it again it's not going to make a difference so now you've got your two cubes here and we're going to adhere those to the fronts of our box so let's take um, i'm going to put my um, edge i'm actually i'm going to put my my extra score line to the back so that's where I'll put my adhesive. And then that just gets adhered to the front of my card. And what I'm going to want to do is flatten it out so that I know it's going to sit well in the envelope when I get that far. So go ahead and um, stick it on and then lay it all flat so that you know it's gonna lay right, okay? And then we'll we'll take this one and do the same. So here's the score line. That's where I'm going to put my adhesive. And then again, lay it on there. And now that with the liquid glue, it's a little bit easier to move around. So then we'll um, shift it until it lays right in there. That works pretty slick. So now you can see how this box is coming together, right? And then it folds flat, which is handy, super handy. And now we're just going to um, add layers to make it look a little bit more pretty. Remember those two pieces that we cut off of our um, card base back here? Now we're gonna add those to the inside bottoms just to make it look nicer. All right, so we'll add those in there, shift it around until it sits right. It should just fit pretty perfectly in there. If you need to trim some down, go ahead. And then just double check that it still lays flat. We're good to go. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. You also cut one and seven eighths inch, eighth inch squares of this pretty snowflake. So we're gonna add those to our back panels here. And there should be a teeny little white border around it. What's nice about this card is that it squishes down. <laughs> so you can always squish it down to get it to shift and and get where you want it to be. So 
so now you can see in there that's where those um, pieces go now I was careful to make sure the trees weren't towards the middle so my trees are towards the outside they'll show better um, well they won't get covered I should say that way okay so again I'm squishing it down to help me um, get it situated in the right place so now we've got our insides looking pretty. And now we're gonna bring in our plaids. Um, these were cut one and five eighths. These are one and three quarters. So four white squares that are one and three quarters each. So we'll just adhere our pieces to that. And once we have those done, then we'll adhere them to the front squares of our box. So I think I'm gonna use liquid glue again. It's always nice to have a few different adhesives handy. Um, in this case, I didn't use any glue dots or um, dimensionals from the kit, but in a lot of cases, uh, those two items would also be something I would have handy um, just in case I needed them. So, have those adhesives ready to go in all different forms because I find that um, there's a use for everything, a different use for everything. You know, there, there are cases where I like the liquid glue better, and then there are obviously cases where my stamp and seal serves me best. And I know this was a lot, a lot of pieces, a lot of cutting, a lot of um, keeping track of things, but I really like how it um, has all come together. So we've got our, our cute little scape. And of course you could put a tea light down on the inside of this and it would show nicely through the vellum trees, which would be cool too. The final thing that we need to do is take our little tabs and we're gonna put adhesive on one of the sides. And then I know it's a little tricky, but you gotta get your hand in here and get your tab um, so that the fold is like across the middle fold here. So you want it to line up with the fold in the card. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this tab so that the opening is on the out or the inside of the cube and the fold is right on the outside edge here. So what you're gonna get, and of course, again, you can fold it down to make it easier to adhere, which I love. I love that it's a completely collapsible, collapsible card. So then what you have here is a flat spot for you to put your sentiment, okay? So we'll put adhesive on here on the tabs little bit and then we'll bring in our Merry Christmas and who's who's not gonna want to open up a card like this that's so awesome okay just be careful that the tabs aren't hanging over the edge of the tag right all right so once once you have it together then your Merry Christmas stands out um, it's a little pop out here on the in the middle. All right, so when all is said and done, you've got yourself a really cool card that then folds flat to put into an envelope. So I know it was a lot, but I hope you found it worth it and that you enjoyed putting it together. I hope you enjoyed project number four of the 12 projects of Christmas, and I will see you again really soon with project number five.